Okay, and here's previous matches from Shei Shei Feng. 14 and 14, first game. She wasn't really pushed until the quarterfinals against Pi Hong Wen. 21-17, 21-10. And here you have it, Shu Wai Wen. She had a little bit tougher time. She had a bye. Then against Spain, I think she was a little bit nervous. 19 and 18. Japan, 19 and 10. And then yesterday she was pushed with 52 minutes. 21, 19, 21, 10. He's had a very good couple of years where he was playing and uh, one of the, the best singles players, better singles player in the world. The number six in the world is great. And there's Lee, the umpire, announcing the game. Germany. <laughs> a good opening rally, but with the net spin, it was hard for Shu to lift. It was hard for anyone to lift. It was great net shot played by Xie Xingfang. Oh, and a nice rally, left wide. I think we're going to see a lot of long rallies. Today, yeah, especially Xu Huaiwen's style of Germany, he's, uh, he wants to, to have a, to extend the rallies as long as she can. Service over. Two, oh. Burgers, can you hear me better now? No, I think there might be an injury. Or no, just change of a shuttle. I thought she was going off there. <laughs> I was like, I didn't see anything. I thought she might have had an injury from the day before. She reads 3 2. Oh, great reach by Shei Shei Feng, but the second one she couldn't handle. Well, Xu Hua was really playing well the last couple of rallies, and uh, she's really feeling the courts very well. <laughs> she was looking for the net, I think, on that one. Yeah, beautiful deception by uh, Xie Xingfang. Flicked the shadows over Xu Huawei's hat. <laughs> Por su estatura, a lo mejor sus remates no van a ir con tanta 
Look at that. Oh, oh, good rally. Nice and patient. Both of them are rallying well. Very patient, but we see a lot of patience from oh. both players not letting any shadows drop unless they're absolutely certain the shadow is going out. In the last few years, Xu Shui Wen, her fitness has been a big factor. She's more fit now. She is definitely more fit. Her game, she really needs to be fit to win the game because uh, you know, she doesn't have a lot of weapons from uh, her overhead shots. Really, Xie Xingfang and Zhang Ning, they are standing tall and they can uh, hit the shadows from uh, a steep angle. It's funny, Zhang Ning also said, wow, Xie Xingfang looks so much taller than me, I'm scared of her reach when I'm playing her. <laughs> I'm mean, especially hard for those two players playing against each other in, if, you know, Xie Xingfang indeed wins this match. And uh, because most players know their game inside out, they've played so many times in the practices and uh, also in the tournaments as well. Nice net to set the smash up. Both of them are lifting out to the side. There is a little bit of a draft, but we're in the semifinals. You should know that. You should kind of adapt a bit better to that. Uh, well, you know, it's easy to say than done because uh, <laughs> your natural reaction is to lift to the corner, you know, move your opponent around. But uh, unfortunately, you, once you do that, it's going to go out with the drift. <laughs> that's Delhi, you know, that's what Shen Xin was looking for all day. Why when? Six to nine. <laughs> what great region. That's just deadly, you know. She loves to hit, you know, hitting those overhead shots from steep angle. You know, once and twice, you know, she Xu Huan has no answer for that. It's a little unforced error there. She was there in time. Just had to put it over. Well, you know, you have to be very perfect. Like I said, you know, you want to be very perfect on those shots. You have to execute it you know, perfectly. But once you do that, the chances of making mistakes is very great, too. It's 11 6, only 13 minutes. The young boys give me shit for some tips. As you can see, in the sh he, uh, he's giving shit for some uh, strategy to play. And let's take a look at some smash winners. Shei Shei Feng, 4 to 1. And net winners, Shu wins, 3 to 2. 5 to 2 for China. 11 6. Play. Oh, there she adjusted, right in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> she needs that.
Seven four. Roll. Seven up by five. She moves so well. You know what? Her first big t title was in doubles. Shei Shei Feng at the World Junior Champions in 1998. Wow, I didn't know that. So this yeah, she's got a perfect body for singles and doubles. You know, when, when you stand this tall, you can pretty much play any event. Well, I think singles is her <laughs> event now. She's trying to make it a little bit too tight. She knows she has good net, so just a little bit off. Why wins over in Germany Germany now. She's been there for six years. She's originally from China. From China, yep. She was on the national team for a little while, but uh, because uh, the Chinese talent pool is so steep, so she's not able to make all the way to the top. Therefore, she decided to retire from the national team. And uh, since she came to Germany, and uh, she's, um, you know, she's uh, made her second career in Germany. Yeah, incredible. 31, incredible. and she's playing better now than ever. Than ever. And uh, she made it to the semifinals of uh, last year's World Championships. And uh, now here, here she is in the, in the semifinal again. Best results Germany ever hoped for. I talked to her earlier this week, and she said, I'm going to do it again. I want to make a... Make another medal. Make another medal. She, she's guaranteed for a bronze medal. I think she would rather have a silver or gold, though. Go, well, you know, that's, uh, that's definitely what everyone's hoping for. <laughs> nice rally. Good rally. Very patient by uh, Xu Huaiwen and uh, just waits for the right time in a uh, Drops close to the net and they're waiting at the net to put away. Oh. 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 <laughs> she moves around the court so nicely. Right, and uh, the last one when Shen Xinfang hits across the net shot, and uh, that might have been out. And, uh, you know, Xu Huaiwen just didn't want to let go and uh, end up losing the rally. So in China, Shei Shei Feng and her boyfriend Lin Dan are on a lot of the covers. Yeah, they're like the golden boy and the golden girl, you know, in China badminton. And the media, the media gave them a lot of coverage. And uh, they're both looking to win a gold medal here. That will be quite a story. Oh, and she's not sure about the call. I think she was w wanting it long. Yeah, a lot of questionable calls, you know. The players just can't believe it sometimes, but uh, that's uh, part of the game. 
And then there's game point, 2011 in the first game. Well, Xu Huang has started out pretty good, you know, played pretty evenly with uh, Xie Xingfang, but somehow, you know, she, Xie Xingfang is just a step quicker. So this one, again, she lets one drop out on the back line. Well, she's got a, Xie Xingfang has got a, a great cushion. Yes. And, uh, eight points, so she can't afford to let one, one or two go. <laughs> And there it is, 21-12. Che Shei Feng with the first game. And there you have it, first game, 21 to 12. China leads 1-0. And let's take a look at some of the smash winners. There she go, China, 8-1. And net winners, China again, 7-6. Fair, pretty close, 6-5. And consecutive points, Shei Shei Feng with 4-2. I think the big difference was the smash winners. You know, as we uh, mentioned earlier, um, Xie Xinfang really wants to use her tall body and uh, hitting steep angles and you know, make those smash winners, and uh, she did it beautifully in the first game. But Xu Huang really has to move around the court better and uh, just to keep up the speed with Xie Xinfang, not to lift the shadow so much, you know, in order to, uh, to play better and uh, have any chance to win the second game. It's testing the bird. Second game, love ball, Oh, great net play. One. I think if she wants to win, though, she has to start to control the net a little bit more. A little bit more, not to force Xie Xinfang to lift a little bit more. There's another good net shot. Beautiful. Very good strategy coming out of uh, the break. You know, she is playing pretty beautifully the second second game. Shu Huai Wen Yes. <laughs> yep. Great rally. Beautiful. You know, I'll start up from the net play by uh, Xu Huai Wen. And uh, she hits a beautiful net shot. Look at here. And she comes in and spin beautifully. And uh, Xie Xinfang lifts to half court. And the cross court winner by Xu Huai Wen. <laughs> well, I think she was hoping it was going out, but it's all right in the back corner. Four zero. And uh, Xu Huai Wen is really looking that, and the uh, cross court clear by Xu Huai Wen really caught Xie Xingfang off guard a little bit. So that's why Xu, uh, Xie Xingfang let it go. Well, she's taking five points right in a row. Five points in a row, and uh, here you go, Xie Xingfang is finding herself in the big hole. And there she broke the rhythm, one to five. five. Just wide. So, I mean, we talked about earlier, um, the drift is from uh, the 
the, the, the other side to the left, that's why you see a lot of shots wide. Oh, and it just to hit in. What a good get, though, right before that to set up the play. Absolutely. Xu uh, Huan really picked up the pace in the second game, and uh, let's see how long can she uh, keep doing that. <laughs> Chu Wai Wen just got married in, in December of last year. She knows English now, German, and German Chinese. And Chinese. And uh, I think she started a, uh, her side business as well with her husband on the travel agent business in uh, Germany. How's the training in China? Well, training in China is uh, is just pretty much the same as 20 years ago. A lot of hours, a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work, a lot of hours in a place. That's pretty much that's all they do. You know, playing badminton, playing badminton, you know, day in day out in a playing tournaments. Yeah, so, so it's a full-time job. Full-time job. Government investing a lot of money into different sports. So when you're 12 or 13, it's not unusual to go into a school and live there and just play badminton? Well, most of the time, 12 and 13, you are going to be selected by the provincial team or the junior national team already at the even the age of 12 and 13. And eight hours a day, even at that age. Well, it, that that age, I think it's more like five, six hours a day, and at least five hours a day. Sometimes six. Sometimes you train in the morning, in the afternoon, and uh, especially when you're younger, sometimes you even train in the evenings. But nothing like heavy, you know, work work in the evenings. But just some light skill work, all that stuff. But it does put a lot, a lot of hours. And Shei Shei Fang takes the lead, seven to six, the first time in this match, in this game. But the replay, she came back beautifully, and uh, you know, Xu Huanwen just let that go. Misjudgment by Xu Huanwen. Shot. Well, we saw earlier in this match, luckily on Bosch, he is very happy about the shots that, uh, you know, Xie Xinfang select. Here's the cross court by Xie Xinfang, another cross court, another straight draw. That's the cross court winner right here. And we saw in the beginning of the match, uh, in the beginning of the second game, Xu Huai really picked up the pace, and then Xie Xinfang has adjusted to it. Now she's forcing the pace again. They make it look so easy, but it is so fast out there. It is very fast. We're just uh, sitting probably five meters, you know, away from the, from Xie Xingfang, and we can just feel the pace is picking up. Eight to six. So what does China think now? Now, Wai Wen is number two in the world, and she could have been playing for China. Well, obviously, when she retired from the Chinese national team, they didn't expect that. But a lot of people, like Xu Huaiwen, Pi Hongyan from France, right. they all made a second career when they left China. That means the foundation work, the, the, the foundation work is just super, superb. You know, that's why they were able to um, push up again, you know, when they left China.
So, but it's all because of the hard work they put in when they were younger in China. Ten to seven. Well, China leads 11-7. Jiaxin Fang's, Jiaxin Fang's uh, smash is just so deadly. It really forcing Xu Huawen to bend down and then reach the shot. Well, there you have it. The first game, 21-12, 11-7. Jerome Van Dyke is giving Xu Fanwen some tips, telling her some shots, what she needs to do, and then in order to uh, make some good quality shots. Usual advice from Leo Moore between the games. And let's take a look at some of the stats from this game. We have smash winners, Y Wen, 1 0. Net winners, Shay. China, four to three. Shei Shei Feng, clear winners, seven to three. <laughs> <laughs> I think the speed went up again in that rally. So they're guaranteed a bronze medal. They are? They're guaranteed a bronze medal, but they, they, they could play tomorrow for the gold or silver. It's, it's a little disappointing. We uh, like to see you know, one of the Germans make to the finals, you know, so it'd be a very interesting final. But the China just, uh, you know, two most dominant players in the badminton world, Xie Xingfang and the Chang it's, it's, it's very tough to uh, go up against them. Wai Wen is one of the only players in Germany. She trains with the men. All the other girls train up in Mulheim, and she trains down in Saarbrücken with Saarbrücken. the guys. Yep. And uh, she's got uh, a lot of sparring partners, the men, and uh, she's able to do a lot of stuff that uh, most women can do. <laughs> like that backhand cross court clear. <laughs> Absolutely, you know, just just the overall ability. She's just uh, you know improving so well. You know, she's been look improving. at this backhand clear. Yep. Unbelievable cross court. You don't see too clear. many women do that. <laughs> 15 to 7. I don't think there's any stopping her now. Well, no, if there's uh, any weakness in Xu Huai Wen's game is, you know, she's not very tall and uh, she doesn't have a lot of killing shots. You know, she has to work extra hard just to, you know, move her opponents around. But it's definitely tough to do against uh, player Xie Xingfan and Zhang Ning's quality. <laughs> Service over. Eight fifteen. We could see another rematch of last year's final. Possibly. Service over. Sixteen. 16 to 8. Well, you see this, uh, she played, she played play beautiful net shot and it sets herself up for a kill. The smash right down straight to uh, Xu Huai Wen's body. Oh, Two mistakes, there we go, 17-8, four points away from match point.
Oh, nice shot. I wish I had a backhand like that. Yeah. That was a beautiful backhand shot by Shivan. Well, got help, little help from uh, by the wind. You know, it was lucky going out and then kind of curves, curves in. Yeah. Beautiful shot. It was just so difficult for Shu Fanwen to bend down, reach those uh, cut shots and uh, some deep smashes by um, Xie Xingfang. Nineteen to nine. Two points away. I'm going to the gold medal. And there she has it. Twenty to nine. Match point. <laughs> a good rally. Ten, well, she might have caught a break this rally, you know, by hitting top of the net. Match point again, 10 20. Playing for a bit of pride. And there she has it. 21-12, 21-10. Shei Shei Fung into the finals. She gives a big clap, big smile on her face. She's there to keep her gold for tomorrow's finals. There you have it, confirmation of the result. 21-12, 21-10. Just 38 minutes. And the replay, the last point, and Xu Huai Wen tries to push it in, and Xie Ximan clears it back. A big backhand by Xu Huai Wen, unfortunately, it was just long. Here we go again, the replay, the backhand, pushes the net shot, comes back, another backhand, and uh, just went out. You know, disappointed by um, Xu Huai Wen. So Xu Huai Wen with the bronze medal, and Xie Xie Feng going for gold tomorrow. Smash winners, Xie Xie Feng 10 to 2. Net winners, again, 13 to 10. Clear winners, 19 to 10. And consecutive points, 7 to 5.